In this lesson, we're going to continue discussing effects. If you'd like to follow along, go under the File menu to open, and in the Sample Files folder, scroll down to 1404 Bevel and Emboss, and just click Open. We're going to start by applying a bevel effect to the entire object. So I'm going to go into my Effects panel, with the object selected with my selection tool, go under the FX pop-up and go to Bevel and Emboss. Why don't we start by just increasing the size of the bevel so it's a little bit easier to see. And you can see how now inside of the object at the very edge, an inner bevel is being applied. The technique is called smooth. There's also something called chisel hard, which looks chiseled. And there's also a chisel soft, which is very similar, only softer. Let me go back to smooth. I also have a direction of either up or down. And that looks like it's being beveled into the page. Let me go back to up. I can also soften my bevel. So if I click the up arrow next to soften, it's getting softer and softer. There's also a depth. If I decrease the depth, it's making the bevel less and less apparent. Let me go all the way back up to 100%. In the shading area, which is the way it's being lit, there's not only an angle, but there's also an altitude. So if I go to the angle and altitude proxy, there's little crosshairs, and I can click and drag around this circle to move the sun around the type. But there's also altitude. I can drag the crosshairs right above the object, and you can see how now it's a little bit difficult to see the shading. It's almost as if it's high noon, and if it's being lit from above, it's not going to have very dark shadows and light highlights. So let me drag it a bit back towards the horizon line which is the circle itself. And you can see highlight is using screen as the blending mode and white to make the highlights lighter. And shadow is using multiply with black to make the dark sides of the object darker. I'm just going to click OK. Now I'm going to apply an effect to the text. So I'm going to click on the text listing and go under the FX pop-up to bevel and emboss again. But instead of using an inner bevel on the type, which really doesn't look all that good because it's kind of messing around with the letter forms a bit, I'm going to choose instead outer bevel. And now the bevel is actually outside of the lettering. And it almost looks like a license plate where the lettering is being raised off of the surface. Let's change the technique to chisel hard. And you can see it does look chiseled. Chisel soft, very similar. Let me go back to smooth. I have a direction of up or down. Let me go back to up. And I can increase or decrease the size. I can soften this bevel. Let me increase the size a bit. And I can soften the bevel by clicking the up arrow. A bit too soft, let me click the down arrow. So, like a lot of other effects, you really have to play with the settings. Now, depth, if I change that, it's not going to look quite as raised off the surface. It's less distinct. Let me go back up to 100%. Like inner bevel with outer bevel, I can change the angle and the altitude and the opacity of the highlight or the opacity of the shadow. So if you know how to use one of the bevel and boss effects, you know how to use all of them. I'm going to click OK. We're going to scroll down to the next page and select the object on that page. We're going to click on the text listing and go to the FX pop-up to bevel and emboss. Instead of an inner bevel, we're going to choose emboss instead. Right now, it's being embossed in an up direction. If I make it a down direction, it looks like it's actually being beveled into the red background. 
once again, I can change the angle of the lighting and the altitude. And you can see how it's really dramatically affecting the embossing. And there's also a highlight and a shadow. Let me change to a different style. I'm going to choose something called Pillow Emboss. And that is really cool. It's embossing the inside, pushing it in, and the edges are being raised. Let's change the direction to up. And this is almost like pillow embossing in quilting, where you can stitch certain parts of the quilt to make what is inside of the stitching actually pucker up away from the rest of the quilt. Really kind of nice. I'm going to click OK. We're going to continue to discuss effects and transparency in the next lesson.